Happy Thursday to you, and welcome back to another uh, study, another look at the Sermon on the Mount. A couple days ago in Matthew 5, we were looking at uh, the Beatitudes, and today we're still in Matthew 5, Matthew chapter 5, and we're starting in verse 13. Jesus is teaching us about being the salt and the light. And very interestingly, uh, in a different gospel book, in the book of John, Jesus calls himself, he says, I am the light of the world. And here he's calling us the light. Here, let's, let's just read it and we'll talk about it. Verse 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. And that makes perfect sense when you think of a light. If you light a candle, like if the power goes out and you light a candle so that you can see, you wouldn't put that candle under a bowl uh, because one, the light wouldn't go out and two, the bowl might put the candle out. So in other words, in verse 16, Jesus says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And remember, Jesus says in John, uh, I am the light of the world. So how can we be the light if he is the light? Well, what he's saying is, when we put our faith in Christ, when we have Jesus, when we have the Holy Spirit, we now share in his light. In other words, the love that Jesus gives us can now be given from us to other people. The mercy, all of uh, the forgiveness, the goodness, the everything that God gives us, we can multiply that out to other people. So that, and here's the point, not for our benefit, but in verse 16, in the same way, let your light shine, let your love shine, let your mercy shine, let your grace shine. Go be a public Christian and share God's grace the way he has shared it with you. Let your light shine before others. This is why. So that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. It's about bringing glory and honor to God. It's about making God more seeable, more famous, so that people will come to salvation in Jesus. We are Christ's representatives. And before I get into too much of my notes, I want to share my notes with you on the screen. So there it is, uh, Matthew 5, 13 through 16. And here's the notes that I want to share. We actually talked about this last night with our uh, student ministry on Instagram Live, and I wanted to share it with you today, this morning. What we can, Some things that we can take from these verses, and some things that I think are very relevant right now, but these truths are always relevant. There is never a time when these truths are not relevant. So here I want to share my notes with you. The world right now and always, when we put our faith in Christ, the world needs us to be God's light. The world needs us to be God's love. They need to see God's love in us because of us. We are bringing God's love to the world. The world needs us to be God's mercy and grace. Every good gift that God has given us, we need to multiply that so that the world can see it in us, so that the world can see Christ in us. The mercy that we have been shown, the forgiveness that we have been shown, we need to multiply that and as freely as it was given to us, we need to give it away freely to others as well. The world needs us to be their neighbor. And you remember the story that Jesus was sharing about love love God and love your neighbor? And someone said, well, who's my neighbor? And Jesus shared the story of the good Samaritan and how the Samaritan was the person that stopped and showed mercy to the beaten man on the side of the road and took care of him. And Jesus at the end says, the person that you show mercy to is your neighbor. In other words, the world needs us to be their neighbor. Who is my neighbor? My neighbor is anyone I have the opportunity to show mercy to. Again, to, to make it even more simple, we are to freely give that mercy and help to anyone that we come across. The, uh, the next one, the world needs to see God's goodness in us. 
so that they can see God is good and so that they can see Jesus and come to salvation in him. Again, we are the representatives of Jesus Christ. How did you hear about Jesus? Think about that. How did you hear about salvation? How did you hear about the gospel? Someone in some way told you. Even if even if you just picked up the Bible yourself, the disciples told you when you read the New Testament, right? Paul told you or Peter told you uh, when you read the New Testament. Mark told you or Luke told you when you read the New Testament, right? But someone has told you about the gospel. Someone has told you about Jesus. Someone has expressed the love of Christ to you. That is how we have all come to know Jesus. And some, the, all, of our, all of our experiences are different, but we have been shown the gospel. We are the representatives of Jesus Christ. The world needs to see God, and the world needs to see God in us. Let's pray. Father, we pray right now. We're lifting up um, just, just who we are, that, that you can form us, transform us, into who you need us to be. Give us courage where we need it. Give us boldness where we need it, God. Give us wisdom where we need it. God, we we are we are praying and asking for your mercy. We are praising you and thanking you for your love, God. And we are asking that you would help us to open our spiritual eyes so that we can see those opportunities to be your light and to be your love and to be your mercy and grace. We thank you for your son, Jesus, God. It's in his name we pray. Amen.